You guys, I have one of the most expensive hair masks on the market. This is by Philip B. This is the Russian Amber Imperial Gold Mask. Comes in at $225. Andre said it must be from Moscow because it's expensive and it's Russian. I don't know what that means. It's expensive to live in Moscow. Got it, okay, <laughs> makes sense. It intrigued me, honestly. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It had the name Russian in the name. It had Russian, gold, and then the price was $225. I don't understand why it's so expensive, but it has pretty good reviews online. Lots of raving reviews. So what this does is this mask restructures revitalize, revives, and regenerates all hair types. It restores natural shine and luster, balance and body, lost by chemical processing, heat styling, and environmental damage, and, and prevents breakage and split ends. <laughs> Fancy. So I figured we would just look at my hair, put this on, see all the good things about it, what this looks like, what it smells like, how does it apply, does it wash out good, and then what does the hair feel like and look like after. And then I'll do like a two day update, usually when I do uh, masks like this. I really wanna see what the hair looks like on the second day. Does it feel way down? Does it look oily? Does it look heavy, you know what I mean? Or does it still look very fresh, very bouncy? Does it still look shiny? So I'm very excited to see how this is gonna look. So you get a nice big packaging and you get, how many ounces? You get eight fluid ounces. Wow, that's not a lot, is it? For $225, <laughs> my goodness. It's that kind of packaging where you touch it and it just gets dirty right away. It kind of looks very cheap, especially when you open the lid right here. And by the way, I already opened this, but the thing is we opened it and the mask kind of spilled everywhere. So I'm not sure if somebody already touched this before me, but it does have this type of a lid where it's like this plastic thing on top, kind of like a lot of skincare products have, like cleansers. But this is what the mask looks like. It really does not smell luxurious, but you do, it looks like you get quite a lot. They do say use like a large dollop when you do apply it into your hair. So I did want to mention like the quick ingredients in here, what make this product work. So what they're saying, there is this Carthamus Tincterius <laughs> Oleosums, no idea if I said that right, but it's supposedly significant improvement in the body of hair with strong trends towards su superior dry combing, softness and dry feel. What is, what? <laughs> and then it has pea peptides, which stimulate follicle stel stem cells to promote hair growth, interesting. L-amino acids that promote hair growth, improve texture and strength. Then panthenol, panthenol provides enhanced moisturizing effects and adds thickness or body to the hair. And then glyc glycerin helps in strengthening the hair, leading to less formulation of split ends. And it definitely has lots of gold in here. I'm not sure if it's real gold. I don't know. So I just touched this product and it honestly looks like Dijon mustard on the back of my hand, but it feels pretty nice. It doesn't feel too heavy. I'm really excited to see what this is gonna feel like on my hair. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna use a cleansing shampoo and then go in with this mask. That's what I usually like to do, especially if I'm using like a cleansing shampoo. So today is a cleansing day for me and I really wanna see if this shampoo, this mask delivers and really makes my hair feel good, look good, just revives my hair basically. And then we'll see what the hair looks like on the next day to really see if they're, if the hair still looks the same or at least somewhat similar, just as long as it doesn't look really laid, like heavy and like weighed down. So the concerns with my hair right now, I feel like my hair looks, kind of dull, it doesn't look as shiny, it doesn't look as bouncy, just because the weather outside is so dry. It's what, like 12 degrees outside? So I really kind of want to add a little bit of life back into my hair, and hopefully this mask will do the thing, especially towards the ends. Like I feel like my hair has been feeling dry these past couple of weeks. Let's go take a shower and wash our hair. Application of this mask is quite easy. It's like a typical deep conditioning mask. They're saying you take a large dollop. They're not saying how much or how little. That's the only thing you kind of have to figure out for what your hair needs. I was kind of 
pulling it in like in the shower and just taking a little scoop. I was like, wait, that's too much. So I put a little back, I'm like, wait, that's too little. So I kind of took like right in between, I would say what I usually do for a deep conditioning mask, just because I don't know how heavy this product is. So I would start like a little bit slower and then I added on a little bit more if it felt like I needed a little bit more of the mask through my hair. So the next step, I did put it into the mids to the ends of my hair and just kind of really like lathered it in between both of my palms, kind of squeezed it in, kind of brushed it in. And then what I did was I took a wide tooth comb and then brushed it out really gently because that's what they recommend. And then leave on between three to five minutes or if your hair is severely damaged with chemicals or whatever else, leave it in for at least 20 minutes to get a really nice deep conditioning mask. And anything, if I, I would recommend doing like a hot towel treatment on top of this mask to really help penetrate the mask into your hair. I left it in for approximately five minutes. I had Andre time it for me. The way this like mask felt, like when I felt it before even applying this into my hair, it felt very kind of um, very lightweight but really nice in texture, kind of like gel. When applying it into the hair, it felt, again, very lightweight. It didn't feel heavy. Once it kind of was in the hair, I was able to comb my hair through with my fingers and then go with the comb on top of it. It was very effortless. I didn't have to tug and pull. So that was really nice. It really kind of helped separate the hair. And then washing the hair out, the hair felt very soft, very silky. It didn't feel as coated as I thought it would feel. So I'm really excited to see how the hair is going to perform today and tomorrow. It does smell kind of good. Like it doesn't smell too strong, which is nice. And I'm not gonna put any other products in just because I really wanna see how this mask performs. And right now I'm using my Tangle Deteaser. Deteaser? My Tangle Teaser Detangler. <laughs> And I feel like I already have like a leave-in conditioner in, like I barely am trying and it's combing through the hair very nice, very easy. Wow, okay, mm. wow. I think the hair does look a little bit more like shiny, like some of these strands. And I didn't take the mask all the way through my hair. I focused it, like I said, on my mids to the ends of my hair. And then going with the comb, I brushed it or combed it first through the mids to the ends to make sure it was all incorporated really well. And then whatever was left on my comb, I went and just kind of like very gently kind of brushed through the top right here. Just because for my hair type, I have very fine and thin hair especially you know, after pregnancy. Don't like to put a ton of products right here, especially the top. I feel like that's what really weighs my hair down. Wow, okay, that literally, it feels like I have leave-in conditioner in already. I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then style it rather quick. Before I style it, I'll show you guys what the hair looks like and then I'll style it because I really wanna see just like on an everyday basis how the hair is going to look. Okay. I feel like without anything else in my hair, there's no extra product besides the Moroccan oil cleansing shampoo and the Philip B, the Russian Amber Gold Mask. It looks pretty good. It definitely looks a little more shiny, I would say. It doesn't look as dull. I feel like a lot of the, sh the highlighted hairs, they're kind of sticking out a little bit more. The thing is with masks, especially if you have a specific hair type, if your hair is very fine, it's thin, it can't handle a lot of product. I would say stick to like maybe once to once every other week. And especially if you're gonna use like a cleansing shampoo, that's when I only use a deep conditioning mask. I can't use a deep, con deep conditioning mask on a daily or like every other day basis just because it's so heavy for my hair type and just weighs my hair down and I feel like after a while, there's so much buildup. That's why I only stick like when I'm cleansing my hair with a cleansing shampoo or just like every other week when I feel like I need to. And I really just focus it on the mids to the ends of my hair and that's it. So with this product, what I'm trying to say is with a lot of those other deep conditioning masks, I still feel like I need some type of detangling or a leave-in conditioner after I get out of the shower. I feel like it isn't, it does the job, but then I feel like it needs a little bit of extra something on top of those masks. So the thing with this, I felt like it didn't need anything afterwards to detangle, to smooth the hair out. So I'm really intrigued by that. But that's kind of where it ends. I'm not feeling any other difference. Like it doesn't look restored, extra revitalized. 
reconstructed, reconstructed with the first impression. I am gonna keep using this mask and I definitely wanna do an update maybe after a whole month or two months, maybe with other products that I've been testing, first impression, and then kind of tell you if I've been using them still. I think that would be a really good idea. Please let me know. But with the first impression, I think it's definitely way too expensive. The packaging is way too cumbersome. It's massive. I feel like it's way too messy and inconvenient to use in the shower, especially, I don't know. I feel like it, if it was a squeezy tube, kind of like the Oribe or the Honey Mask, even though I don't like the Honey Mask packaging, at least it's a squeezy tube and I can get some of the product out a lot easier. So I feel like if they offered a squeezy tube version, I would definitely be all over that and maybe offer a little bit less product for less price because it is a really interesting product. I, I'm really intrigued with the ingredients that they have here to help, but I feel like a lot of these ingredients are in the other masks that are on the market for a far less price. So keeping that in mind and just seeing that, just the quality in here, like missing letters completely from the front of the packaging, like that should be a big no-no. Just, yeah, just certain things like that. I just, I don't, they're not reflecting the $225 price tag personally for me. So I wouldn't jump on this mask. Maybe if you get like a, not like a travel, what's the, if you get a sample, I think definitely try it out, but mm, it's too expensive for what it does. Let's just put it that way. I'm gonna quickly style my hair and I really wanna see how it's going to act with my hair without anything else. Okay, now that I'm finished styling my hair, looking at my palms, they're covered in a tiny, tiny little specks of gold glitter. When I first looked at the mask, you could definitely see a ton of gold shimmer in here, but I didn't think it was gonna transfer onto the hair. I thought maybe it was just gonna wash out. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure and almost positive that this is what's making my hair look extra shiny. It's that gold glitter in here. And I made Andre touch my hair a little bit, just a tiny bit, and some of the gold glitter transferred onto his hands as well. So it's kind of giving that illusion, that instant, gratification, you know? It's like, ooh, my hair is shiny, it's working. And I don't feel the glitter on my hand, that's the good thing, you just see it. It's kind of like that like nice, soft, creamy, a soft, creamy eyeshadow that's very glittery, but then you also don't feel it because it's so micro and so fine. But yeah, I, first impression, it's an okay mask. It's not, it didn't really blow my mind. It definitely feels good. My hair definitely looks really nice. It feels really lightweight, but still nice and smooth, very manageable. I can easily run my hands, not my hands, my fingers through my hair and it doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel just lifeless, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I think I'm gonna keep using this product to really see if it does make a world of difference after a month or two months. But otherwise, like I said, some of those masks that I already mentioned in this video, definitely give those a try. They're they're still a little expensive, a little pricey, especially the Oribe, but a little goes a long way with those masks and you don't have to use them every single time you wash your hair. Okay, I wanna do the next day update for the really expensive Philip B gold mask. Honestly, the hair, feels really good. The only area where it feels kind of heavy is right here and right here in the back, but I do sleep with my hair down and with the skincare, it kind of does get all over the place right here, especially when you do wash your face and you apply the skincare, it always gets kind of heavy looking right here, but I think that's just because of all the skincare, washing, cleansing my face, and I do sweat at night, <laughs> but, yeah, the only place it feels heavy or it looks kind of heavy is right here in the back and then right here around my hairline. But otherwise, the hair still looks really nice and it kind of still looks bouncy, it still looks very shiny. And ever since doing my hair yesterday, I've been kind of looking at my hair to see if I see any more glitter on my hand and I haven't been really seeing it. So maybe it was because I was touching my hair for quite a while when styling but the hair still looks very soft and it feels very soft. And yeah, it looks really good. But again, I think it is a little bit too pricey for what it does. And again, this is only my first impression. I'm not like, wow, this is a life changing hair product. Because sometimes when you do try a product the first time, you're like, wow, I can't believe I haven't tried this sooner or I need to tell the whole world about it. And it's not the product for me 
as of right now, I'm not like, yeah, definitely go out and spend $225 because that's really expensive. And like I said, I think there are great hair product masks on the market that are not gonna break the bank. So I'm gonna leave it there. And if you guys do wanna see an updated video of me trying this product and other products that I've mentioned before on a first impression and to see how I've been enjoying them, please let me know and I'll be happy to do that video for you guys. But for now, thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see the next one very soon. Bye.